So what's up guys? It's been a while and today we're going to continue creating our full stack and we're going to do the front end this time. So first off, we finished off the back end, but before we continue to the front end really quick, we got to go check the back. We got to do a, a, a small setting. It'll be helpful for, for the project. It's not really necessary. You can go on li living without it, but for the way I want to construct it, it's going to be quite helpful. <clears throat> so where we got to go is to our config in our, in our back end. Um, and then we got to go to our, to our route, which is oh, on a, on a Puma route, which is already open. And essentially what we want to do is just nest the route. So inside of contractors, we have nested our projects route or index for show and update. Uh, I don't think we're going to use update. Um, but anyways, we, now we also have a uh, route specifically for projects only. Um, yeah, so now let's go ahead really quick, break routes. And we're going to see a little bit of a change. I should show you before we actually even do the nesting also to also like the routes we would get. Any minute now, right? So hopefully after Ruby gets concurrency, everything will be better. Um, yeah, so these are our routes right now. Those extra routes at the bottom, those really long ones, those were always bugging me. I'm, I'm still haven't used them all, but these are the ones that we're going to use. We're going to be using from contractors right here. Boom, 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 boom to projects. So the routes or projects, like the resources, which is the routes for projects alone is this right here. Projects, blah, 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 blah. But now we have nested inside the contractors, some projects for the index show and update. So contractors has its routes, right? So uh, projects index, which is the index for, for this, it's inside con, uh, contractors. Contractors, we need the ID, and then whosoever contractors it is, we see the project. And then the same thing, contractors, and then the specific contractor, and what, what project they're going to see, and then we need the ID, and it's the show and an index. We got an update also, uh, put patch, same. <clears throat> but we also have index for projects alone, because I believe I was... I was having a little bit of trouble, so I think I, I, I have to go with, with both. Okay, so now we got to do a quick NPM install. Install it globally and just save it. Just, just, just hopefully it doesn't give you any trouble. So this server right here is going to be working. We're going to be using some... Um, some symbols, um, scalable ve vector graphs specifically, and it, it'll only usually, it usually only works with the live server. So if you have it up, a website up and running in a server, that's when it's running. But if you have it as a, a as with your CSS and you open your HTML and you're hoping to see it, it's not, it's not going to be, it's not going to be there. It, it would only work with your live server. Okay. So now we did the routes. We did the NPM install. Now we got to create a folder. Uh, so we're going to create a, go ahead and make a directory called just front end. Boom. Oh, I already did a, a, a misspell right there. I see it. And then we're going to CD into the, the front end. And in here, we're going to go ahead and create a few a uh, few folders and a few files. For example, we're going to go ahead and create um, index.html. And we're going to go ahead and create our style.css. And we're going to go ahead and create um, an image folder. And our source folder. Cool. Awesome. 
So now, now that we have installed our live server, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and run it. And that shoots up our, our index HTML. So right now it looks dark, right? That's because I have a plugin right here that, that makes it dark or makes it bright. I'm going to keep it a dark for now um, until we start doing the actual CSS just for, for to keep it easy on the eyes. Um, yeah. So as you can see here, I have the previous project also opened up, but I changed it up a little bit. Um, just 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 enough so we can actually don't have enough for example less less elements in the forum so we don't have to be filling up as, as much stuff okay cool so now we're gonna go ahead and start using our 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 index html because we got to build it up a little bit right now we're gonna have to go into our front end let me just close this up so it looks a little bit neater and we got our front end folder right here and we got our index boom i'm gonna go ahead and so there there was this um plugin called emmet and i believe and it was pretty helpful actually because it, it does it does a lot of work for us already uh with ab abbreviating stuff while creating html elements i love it um yeah so okay so we did all the previous steps but right now since this is a single page application, I'm throwing up my arms like if you guys can see it. Um, we're obviously going to be creating uh, HTML elements through our JavaScript, but there's going to be a few things that we are going to have to need in here and um, in the, off the bat in, in this index HTML. For example, I'm just going to call this, I'm going to give it a class of container. And then here we're going to have some links. Uh, we're going to have a header called header. Yeah. And then here we're, we're going to have a, a UL. And we're going to have some links there. Okay. Links. Link? Links? Yeah, links. Let's just call it links. We're going to have some. We're going to have a few. And I already wrote, wrote them right here. Right here. So we're just going to be moving pretty quick and I'm going to explain what each one means. So we're going to create a, a line item. Inside the line item, we're going to put a, an anchor and in this anchor, we're going to give it, we're going to use the B E M architecture for, our, for, um, for our HTML. So we can access this, we can access, uh, through it, through CSS also this, uh, elements, these classes. So we got a header link, and then we got a header link for all contractors, new contractors, and all projects. Cool, right? So now we take a look into our 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 index HTML, and we have it. We got the links up here running, which is good. It's it's that's that's good. Um. So now we're gonna move to a next step, and this essentially is. Yeah, let's just let's just finish out building up building up this um this this index and then we're going to continue with the with the yeah, with javascript um so i got two two other sections here in the uh let me see if I spell it correct section cont okay cool and then we also have a a footer so we got a header we got a section which is the content and we got a footer uh, basic, basic, um, um, okay, um, HTML, um, so we can actually recognize where, where we are at the moment. And then inside the, 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 the section of the content, we're going to go ahead and put two, Two other sections, two other divs, uh, content form where we're gonna we're gonna add some inner HTML to this class and then also to the content main. Uh, we are, we're also using the um, uh, BEM architecture right here. I mean, we are still within the header, although we are inside links. Uh, we don't have to use the uh, 
we'd have to call it links and then header or header links. We, we, we can just say header and it's a link because we're still in the header element. Um, the BEM architecture so also depends up to you how you want to embrace it or call it upon. Uh, but yeah, that's actually the, the, the whole, the, the main gist of it. But now we're going to go ahead and make our footer and boom. And that's, that's just essentially, um, that essentially is our project. Boom. And we're done. No, I'm kidding. Imagine. Oh, I, I do want to give it a, an H1. We have something. And we're going to do it up in the header. Where's the header at? So we can just leave it inside the header for now. Or, I don't know, depending how I feel later, I might take it out of there. May, maybe not. We'll, we'll see how it will. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, so this is, this is what, essentially, this is our entire single page application. You're, you're thinking like, what, what, what are you talking about? How, how could that be? That couldn't be, that couldn't. Okay. That couldn't be the application. Yep, it is. So the magic right now happens inside the, the, um, JavaScript right now. So essentially I got to link it now. So I'm going to. Like I said, I already have it here on the side, so I'm just going to get it for you. But I'm going to talk about it. So we're, we're adding our, our script um, element tags uh, here for our JavaScript. And we're saying script. Uh, what type is it? It's text and it's JavaScript. Where, where's the source? So we got to get out real quick of uh, going to the source folder, which is right here. The things we still haven't created are... are, are JavaScript files, but it's going to be in there. This is where it's going to go search for. We're going to step out and we're going to go into our source and we're going to go in there and get it. Front end. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and see it's already looking for the files, but it can't find them. We're going to go ahead and open real quick a new terminal and we're going to, we're going to actually we can do it quite in while still being cd front end while still being in the other terminal so we're gonna also cd into source and we're gonna go ahead touch index.js index okay and we're gonna touch um contractor.js and touch we create project dot js right so we got three files there created for our source and so we're going to start off first with our index uh, because we because we already remember how we we already put some links right here these links are always going to be in the in the single page applications i i chose it that way i could have made it differently i could have made it happen only when the page loads uh um but i want them there off the bat i want them i want them there all the time you i guess i want to show you a capability the capabilities some of the capabilities of doing your single page application and okay so we're gonna go ahead and start off with our our index so let me see one sec Okay. So we're gonna need our const. We're gonna we're gonna obviously gonna need our uh, a base URL because we're gonna be we're gonna be calling back to to our um to our backend and that that usually with Rails specifically it's gonna be our localhost uh, three thousand. Okay. Okay. So this is where the magic is gonna happen, right? <clears throat> We want, um, so see over here, what is it talking about? Okay, so this, this is a reload, though this is a load right now. I just came into the server. I'm going to do it again really quick. Imagine you're going to a website. Boom, you're typing in the address and you go in. Boom, it loaded right there. 
that little whatever happened that was that was that was me um loading up the page but i want but i want what i'm trying to tell you now is that although it loaded the index html i want something to happen after the load is the load has happened in the index html so how do we do that well we're going to do that by by talking to the window and this is the window uh so JavaScript is going to recognize that, hey, the, the window got loaded, so let's let's do something, right? So this is what we're going to do. Okay. So obviously we don't have all contractors yet, but we're going to. Um, you're like, what? <laughs> uh, how are we going to? Okay, so I want you to take a look at this real quick. We're not going to want this either. So, when the window loads, uh, we're going to add an event listener. It's going to wait for it to load, and we're going to do um, a function. And essentially, the function is just to console log something. So, you'll see. Now, you saw, boom, see? It loaded. It doesn't auto load because we have the server. Every time we do an HTML change, it's going to auto reload. But do not use the quick note, quick side note. Do not use the. Uh, where is it? There's a live server over here. I think it's this one. Yeah, this live server right here. It's it's not it's not good for working with single page applications. Uh, I believe it was this one. Uh, yeah, because I rem I remember that that. Yeah, it was it was that one. It was it was with this picture, live server and live server right here. Anyways, uh, whoever did it, great job. But it wasn't working when when I when I was using my to create the single page application. But anyways, we here the load happened and we managed to do a console log. So it means our index HTML and our JavaScript files have connected and there is a active communication right there so that's good that's perfect that's awesome uh so right now um where's it that we gotta go all right so now we now we since we okay so now i'm gonna add some event listeners to to our essentially to our to our links uh yeah so let's go ahead and add some event listeners we don't have the function yet, so we're gonna create a function called function. Uh, what are we gonna call it? Uh, header event listener, which essentially is is the links, right? It's the links that that are there all the time, and we're actively listening to to whatever they say or or they want to do, right? So we're gonna we, we're dependent on those links to 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 have movement around the page uh, so yeah so right now okay so i'm going to tell you what's happening right now so right now we're saying that hey let contractors be the element on the document that that goes by name uh uh, header underscore underscore link um, dash oh, I, I, I forgot the name of this little symbol right here anyways all contractors so let's go look for it let's see if it's actually on on the page uh, if it's there the all contractors not defined because we still have to make that okay boom so see it, it got that link that's perfect but notice something. Notice how if I don't put it, if I don't access it through the bracket, it gives me an array. So I need that. Um, I need to get it out, out of its uh, out of its um, array. Yeah, cool. So now we did that for for literally for every single one of of those links. We need it for the new contractor and all projects, which you see, a new contractor and all projects. We're listening to those links at all times. There's not a moment that we don't listen. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to create a few other functions. Function clear form. And 
function clear uh, main content. So what are these going to be? So we talked about working with a single page application, right? So essentially, we're going to want to get rid of the stuff that's in there, right? Uh, in, inside here, eventually, if we're manipulating this document, we're going to want to get rid of things that we don't need anymore. Okay, so at that point is where this comes in, the clear form uh, and the clear main content. Because remember, we have two elements that we're going to be working mostly with. We're going to be working with uh, with the content. Uh, inside the content, we, we got content form and content main. So essentially, we're going to be working with these two right here. I got to access these two. So how are we going to do that? How, are we, how am I going to access the things that are not on the page yet? But there, there's still elements that just don't have any inner HTML. So like we said, document. Uh, document that you get element by class name. And the class name, what was it? It was content main. Well, we're, first we're doing content form, content form, boom, and we got access through it just inside the array, and bam, and we access that that document right there. That's perfect. So now we got to access the 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 main content also. So we're gonna say let form equals, and the, and the, and there we go. We found it. So now we say form that inner HTML is going to equal empty. It's going to be empty, completely empty. And then just to be sure, console log uh, form cleared. Oh, oops. Cleared. Okay. Form <laughs> for cleared. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, so I, I can literally just copy this really quick and just modify it for this. And I can say here instead of form, I could just say main or content. Uh, let's just say main. Main and over here we got to change it to content. Oh, content main, my bad. Oop content main and we're also going to say main that inner html we're going to clear it and we're going to say uh main content cleared so now watch when i click though when i oh, actually not not yet we're not we're not going to see them just yet um okay so now now let's continue to the contractors part so Let's see, I just wanna, I'll see how I feel about it. Okay, all contract is right. So, see, okay, so see how we added event listeners up here on the links, on this link, on this link, and on this link, which essentially are, are this right here, contractors, this, and this. Remember, remember I found the, the, the elements of the HTML and when we click on that link specifically, when we add the event listener, this this function is gonna fire off all contractors. And when we click on, on this element, this function is gonna fire off. It's taking in two parameters. Click, because it's adding an event listener, and then well, whatever we wanna do. So I have to bat already know what it is that I wanna do. I wanna call on all contractors, a new contractors on all projects. So, okay, so let's get rid of this thing over here. Let's open up our files and let's go back into our front end. So we're going to be working with a contractor right now. So essentially for, for, for contractors and projects, we're doing a CRUD. CRUD application, except it's a single page application uh, with CRUD functionality. And, but the CRUD functionality has to be done through, through one single uh, index HTML. Okay, so how can we actually do CRUD? Uh, well, let's, let's, let's take a look. We're going to need a few functions. Um, we're going to need a new contractor. Uh, a 
Okay, actually even before that, CRUD depends on index function all contractors. Is that the one that was calling us? Function, um, what could we call it? E contractor, uh, show contractor. Right, so we got uh, create, read, uh, update, which is new at least first, new contractor. Oh, when we say new, it just it it, it puts it puts in the object, but it doesn't process it process it. So we're gonna you gotta say function create contractor, and then after that we say function edit contractor. And one more function with that we need function update because remember when we when we edit it's the same as new we just we just create the object but we we don't process it yet we don't post it um, in this case for edit we don't patch it yet so we're gonna say edit contract and then update uh, capital C on contractor cool so we got a we got a few functions running. So I know all pro, all all contractors is waiting for me. So I'm gonna do a console dialog um, uh, of all contractors. Cool, right? Okay. So not only that, I'm gonna do I'm gonna add the clear form function that we did and clear main content. Boom. And then once those fire up, the console log fires up. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're going to reload, although everything should be there. All contractors is not defined. So see, now it's not, not, telling, us, it's not telling us that anymore. Oh, actually, it is telling us. It's telling us in number 12 that it's not, not there. Interesting. Let's go take a look why that could be the reason. So we were an index all contractors, all contractors. Okay, we we had an S missing. Okay, cool. Uh, so that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Let's try again one more time. All contractors is not defined. That's a little annoying. Okay, uh, let's see what happens when I click on this. Nothing gets fired up. Okay, that's not good at all. We got index and saying contractors. Yeah, we all contractors. Oh, wait a second. All project. Okay, so all contractors is working. We got to we got to focus on all projects which we we still haven't even created, which we're going to we're going to leave the projects for the end. So this link is not working, but the first two are working. All contractors, the all contractors boom. But it didn't call on the other uh functions, so I'm just going to have to uh call them like this. And now let's give it a shot. And so we're going to say all contractors, boom, form cleared, main content cleared, and all contractors. So everything that would be in the page, boom, gets deleted. And then I show up with the, with the, with all contractors. But since we automatically want all, all my, all contractors to show up, I'm going to activate it as soon as the page activates, uh, as soon as the page loads. So that's the first thing that we're always going to see when we come up to, to this website. Uh, it's going to be all contractors, so watch. Okay. So, off the bat, you, it, doesn't, it doesn't show form, clear, clear form, you know, clear main content. But I know in the situation that all the projects would be showing up. Um, at least, that's what I think. I think I... You know, just in case... If I might have done a typo or something, because I always end up doing that. I, I want the message to appear here on the side to see, but it's not popping up. 
So let's for now I'm gonna leave it and we're gonna come back to it. So I got another new contractor. I wanna make sure that I'm 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 being I'm calling upon those correctly. So off the bat I wanna do a bunch of console logs just to know that I'm inside uh I know this one's show. Yeah, this takes up takes a, a few little extra minutes that um that you know but at the same time you, you you're making sure that everything that you do is, is working along along the along perfectly you get me so eight over here oh we gotta do delete uh, don't worry delete we only actually we actually need only one function for that And then we got our last one right here. Update, right? Oh no. We got we got one more. And then we got the delete function. Oh uh, what did I do there? That's a cluster fuck. Oh no no, don't show my music. <laughs> okay. Function delete. Okay. So that's strange. This function doesn't like being uh delete con oh that's because on track. Yeah. Okay. Delete already exists. Um cool. Alright. So now when we click on new contractor, we should see a little message pop up over here. New contractor, how about that? See, so it's working. Okay, so now we're gonna repeat this same process for projects. Yeah, I know, I know. So, I mean, if I want, I can literally just copy this instead of saying all all contractors I could just say projects right so one two <laughs> boom all projects main content uh, show contractor no I want Uh, projects. Oh, we need a capital P. Project. Okay. The show project. Oh my goodness, I can't even spell. Okay. All right. So we got all projects show project new project create project edit project update project and delete project perfect so now we got to check if all projects is working it should give us a message of saying all projects uh let's reload it one more time i believe i did put the message in there console log all projects uh yeah all projects it's not work What is, what is it called? All, oh, because it's not a capital P. I believe I put it as a capital P over here. All projects. Yep, it's got a capital P. Okay, so we got all projects. Let's see if it works. Um, boom, all projects. And see how it cleared everything? Because I asked it to clear the form, clear the content, and all projects. Great. That's just great, in honesty. That's perfect. All right. So now we gotta we gotta build out each each and every single function. So that's the tedious part, building out each and every single function. But believe me, um, the reason at this point I'm creating an entire an entire application just as a single page application. Sometimes people use um, JavaScript to have like you know if you got like a little option, you click on it and it would just have like a pop up, open up, 
but you would have a responsive design with CSS so it wouldn't mess up your design or anything. But I'm literally building everything from just using um, JavaScript and some HTML already set up right there for us. Okay, so, well, you know, we, we so essentially right now, I believe we don't have anything in our backend um, data, database wise. I think actually, I, I think, I believe I created some, some elements. Oh yes, I did. I, I actually tested it. I tested this application. It was working. Um, so I believe we have a lot of data already running. As a matter of fact, let's check. Let's check our backend and see if we actually have any data there waiting for us. So we're going to say Rails C. And if we do have data, then we're going to go ahead and build out the all, all contractors and all projects or well, all contractors first. The contractor, I spell that right? Contract. That. that all. Okay, so we have a bunch of information actually. <laughs> um that's good that's good so let, let's let's go ahead and run with this run with this information uh exit yeah let's go ahead let's do that we're gonna close this for now uh oh wait no we actually need the server to be running so let's go ahead and run that server so i can send us all our information so rails s and we're gonna shoot up our uh, our server. Okay, perfect. It's running. Awesome. So now, for the sake of saving some time, I do have the code next to me, uh, specifically for for contractors and projects. Uh, I built it out just a few hours back, but I I wanted to give you the sense of, of first of what what is to happen. I will go through each each every every single bit of code. But uh, this application can be done by by somebody very advanced and maybe I don't know a few hours a day. Um, yeah, but I you know I'm still learning, so it is what it is. So okay, so first off the bat, we're gonna go ahead and create our uh, our all 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 our, our what you call it our um. All the contractors. I just had a major brain fart right there. Okay, so remember, we got a few elements here on on the form, and I want this to be empty. And I'm gonna put all my all my uh, all my contractors here. So I gotta search for for that for that first. So in that in that case, I'm just gonna say documents that get elements by uh, see by contents main. And that's essentially where where it's gonna be. Uh, all, all my, all my um, contractors. I keep forgetting. So I'm gonna say main equals whatever I just put up there. Oh, I just need it once. And that okay. So at this point, it's gonna be slightly asynchronous. We're gonna do some fetch. I'm gonna use a dead, uh, a dot then. So it's it's gonna it's gonna be a heavy one, guys. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, we're going to go ahead, fetch our contractors. Uh, we, we got a route, so it's not nothing too crazy going on there. Okay, but I don't want to scare you off with, with, with the few things that are coming up next. And so we're going to go, go ahead and say that then we get a response and the response we turn into JSON. And that's when we say that then, and this is where I'm going to scare you by accident, but I'm not trying to, uh, but yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and this is not even it though. We're gonna go ahead and um, and put our all all our uh, our contractors inside uh um or we're gonna sort them out first. And um, so remember how I said main and have some some HTML and we got all our contractors and then each and every single contractor. I'm going to sort them. Uh, I can say contractor, but I said S because I'm getting a bunch. And we all saying all of them, I'm sorting them A, B, A. I'm going by their last name. 
uh, and I'm putting it to lowercase, and whichever is greater, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna sort them by alphabetical order. Um, so okay, so at this point, I'm gonna grab whatever I get. Uh, well, remember how I still got all contractors, so I gotta map through each and every single contractor. Okay, so this is it. Uh, because we're gonna have to do this a few, quite a few times. Yeah, okay, let me just close this right right here for now. Because uh, it keeps doing a reload when I really don't care for the reload. Um, okay, so, so what's happening here? So I'm grabbing the main that I just showed you up here. This, this, um, oh wait, not yet, don't, don't show them yet. Um, I'm grabbing the main uh, and there, that I found up here. Where is it? Main, right here. This document we got the with class element content made and we accessed it. So I'm gonna grab the inner HTML. Inner HTML means that I'm gonna add HTML to that element that I just found. And so I'm saying go through all the contractors, map them out, and yeah. So we already have a, a few contractors. So we're gonna we're gonna create uh, line items and inside we're gonna put anchors and we got user profile and I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna give it some data like last name through this anchor and also an id of the which is going to be the the id of the contract and i'm going to display them by last name and, and first name that's just the anchor and i'm going to create a few buttons uh a button uh, i'm going to give it some data through the button also which is the contract id i'm going to give it a class name for the button and we're going to do an on click and then the on click we're going to uh, do a con uh we're going to access the uh the the contractor project projects which is the per this this contractor specifically already has has many projects and on click we're gonna go hit that function and we're gonna we're gonna give it an argument of an id which is the contractor's id and it'll return false and here the svg this is the fun part that i like a lot and essentially it's this it's my icons. I went ahead and I got a few icons, and these essentially are the icons that I got right here. Uh, an edit, a a minus document, a plus document, and document, and I got a list, and I got a save, and I got a person plus person plus. I mean a check, and some of them I didn't. I didn't. I obviously didn't use all of them but i wanted to have the option and you can come back and grab whatever you you want uh this is your creative outlet right here <laughs> i'm part of it uh but yeah so once once you have selected yours you come here to generate svg uh whoops but you come in here you do the options i took out the png just leave this empty empty whatever leave, leave it as it is and, you, and then you exit uh, because there's no save button right here or maybe there is but i don't see it and you go ahead and you download and once you download you're gonna go ahead and grab the well hold on a second let's see i don't wanna have a bunch of stuff here okay You know what? I can work with that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and download it. And once you download it, um, download, yes, I already have it downloaded right there. I save it. You go, you open it. You extract it. Uh, extract to, boom. Uh, I see the downloads, whatever. Yes, we're going to go there. And it's already extracted right now because it's pretty quick. It's a small file. Then you go to documents, and then you go in here, and we're gonna we're gonna extract this file right here. We're gonna call it to. Uh, we're gonna rename it right, right, and we're also gonna keep this this file the, that folder. So close this. Open up your your project. Uh, where is it? Where is it at? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Boom. So we're going to go into our image and first bring the sprite. 
trust me, bring the sprite first. Okay. Boom, awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and bring the SVG folder into the image. Copy the folder. Okay. All right, that should already um, show my um, my SVGs. That's that's all it should take. Um, let's see if it works. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So th the images are quite a little bit large right now, but um, it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna edit them with some CSS um, later on. So don't worry about that. Uh, yeah. Well, I got two. Why? Whatever. Uh, okay, cool. So see, uh, we got this is this essentially is all all contractors. Form clear for uh, boom. Okay, perfect. See, so it does automatically clear the form, clear the form, clear the content, and then it just gives me all contractors, and and I got these people right here. Cool. So okay, let's take a look at it though. Uh, the SVG we get we give it a, a class of content main icon list, uh, and I like to give it you know try to give it a BEM um, uh, architecture so I can access it a little better. But while I, while I'm doing the SAS or the CSS, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably come and do a few edits. But yeah, SVG icon edit because this is the edit. So when you finally want to use it, you say use X link and then uh, some, it's not semicolon, colon, href, and you do the image folder because I have it in my image, uh, sprite.svg, and then you give it the name uh, right there. That's the easy, that's the way to, to access it. That's the scalable vector graph right there that, was, that I was talking about earlier. And you join all of them together. Boom. So yeah, guys. So this is what I mean by by each each and every single little function. You literally have to write out every bit of HTML for it. Uh, it is what it is. It's not that bad. Um, it, it could everything could be worse. Uh, but yeah. So now, at this point, when when it's displaying all all my all my um all my contractors, I want to go ahead and run a query. Uh, selector for each and every single uh, anchor that's there and what this means is that for each and every single profile that's there listen to it so for example I got all my contractors right there right now I want to say listen to all of them and I got three of them right so I want you to listen to each and every single anchor which is says right here so profiles equals that array of anchors the profiles go go through each through each and every single one because it's and then once you are accessing each anchor contractor um you're gonna add an event listener and when you click on it the function that's gonna shoot is gonna be the show contractor and for example watch we're gonna go ahead and click on the name boom show contractor which essentially this function right here. See, that's why I said add a console.log because you'll know exactly where you had it next. And the e, uh, e that current target that data set that ID, that right there, that data set ID essentially is the data set that I give it up here. Uh, you can access this data uh, ID by say uh, the events and the, the that current target that data set that ID. Um, yeah, um, I mean, I could show you essentially how exactly, but we're going to be wasting time. Uh, I'll show you once really quick and then, and then we're going to go ahead and continue th the rest. Um, so where is it? Where is it? Where is it here? Click. Uh, okay. We can do that. Boom. E. So E is already here. We, the 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 code already knows that we did a click and it's e so let's go to console e dot current current target the data set see and that's this is the data that i sent it a uh, data set I, I sent it its last name and an id 
but I don't want the I don't want the the last name, right? No, I don't want that. I want the ID that I that I passed it through, and boom, it's one, just like that. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's keep moving. We have a lot to cover for this front end, and so essentially, uh, show contractor at this point right now. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead. Uh, we're gonna clear. We're gonna clear everything, and we're, we're gonna add inner HTML to to to. Oops. I will be sharing this 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 code. So if you ever feel like what was he talking about, you can come back and take a look, or you can even look at it as as you're going along with the with the with the code. Because I'm I'm gonna build it exactly. I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to change it as I upload it, or I'm gonna do commits and check the commits. I'm gonna give each commit a specific name. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna do the show contractor, which is where we clicked on the person uh right here and i just show contractor number e that uh i say number e which is the id which i have to pass it here uh which is the id i could say id here i believe and let's go ahead and see what happens uh, so at this point we're going to be showing the contractor um uh, console and let's see what happened now okay so it takes a little bit to load contractors. Oh, I still have the console running there. Uh, let's take that out, let's run through. Okay, so it couldn't, it couldn't get the that one right there. Um, ID. Oh, okay, because I got to change that to ID also. Um, so this is gonna be ID. And let's try one more time. And boom. Okay, so now I got the ID of one. Awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. Boom. Raul Figueroa. Uh, Raul who uh, I can't even can't even spell. I spelled that wrong. Oh no, I spelled it up here wrong. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That's that's essentially. Oh no, wrong, wrong one. <laughs> that's essentially what, how how we display a contract. What we did was. We remember again. We we're selecting a specific uh, element in the HTML, which is this right here, and we just put it into a variable. Then we fetch our contractors, but we spec uh, we grab a specific one uh, to show, and then we put that as in, into a JSON. And once we get the JSON, uh, we 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 go through each and every single contractor, and then we say let HTML be this this little display of information. Uh, we, that's why we put it in the in the back bracket. And so remember how we grabbed this this element of HTML. Now we're gonna add some HTML into that HTML <laughs> by saying main that inner HTML equals this HTML, which is this right here, which is the last name and the information, which is essentially is this. Uh, let me take this out. Boom. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna do also new contractor. This is uh uh it's it's they 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 all f if if you by now recognize the pattern then you my friend are 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 will be all right because a lot of this does does tend to become pattern especially crud crud is a pattern and depending how much of that pattern you need then that's good and that or that's bad but okay. Yeah, so we got our. We're gonna do the same thing. Um, essentially, we're just gonna clear everything out. At least clear the form. Uh, new contractor. It means that we're gonna have to clear the form. I at one point I'm like, let me just clear the content. Let me clear the list. But then I thought, I don't know. Maybe you do need it. You don't need the list. But so I left this right here. I left this right here. So if you wanna clear clear the content when you click on new contractor when you display the form it's up to you you know it's like it's, it's there okay so the form essentially is <clears throat> uh let's see i even had another console log here like i was already like working on that those console logs okay so i'm gonna say that the form we, remember get another elements from the HTML because we're gonna add some in their HTML with thanks to JavaScript that's the whole point just add HTML to the index HTML through JavaScript 
through situations like this. And so we put we put that element into a variable and we create another variable of HTML and we put some of of HTML, let's call it, we're creating a, a let HTML have HTML in there. I know, it sounds confusing, uh, but uh, I mean, it, it, try, try, try to separate them. This right here is the form that's going to appear in the index HTML, but we're putting it into a variable called HTML. And I say forum, hey forum, yeah, your inner HTML, yeah, what about it? Make it this, that I, what I just highlighted. This right here, this, this, this right there. Cool. And so one, once that's displayed, what you can do is also, uh, hold on a second, let's, let's, let's take a look and see if it's actually working. So new contract, right? Boom. One problem though, it needs a, it needs a button because how can I make it go away? So we got to come back to that. Or I can just do input dot clear form. What was it that I did before? Um, function. Yeah, I'm going to put a cancel button. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. Hold up a minute. Hold up. Wait up. Da -da 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 -da. Da, 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 da. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to add two event listeners here. I thought I added it before, but I totally forgot about it. I'll cancel. We're going to go ahead and li listen to this. It's going to listen, and once it, it hears the cancel button, it's going to be like, oh, okay, we got we to gotta clear the form. So let's just do it. I'm literally doing this in front of you. But I mean, I already did it, but I'm just putting the pieces together. Okay. So we say new contractor. Now you got a cancel button and now it clears it up. Perfect. Awesome. Just think of modules as like Legos, you know, put them as you need them and as, as you will. Yeah. And now we're going to create a contractor. <clears throat> Uh, once we create a contractor, essentially we, we are absorbing whatever they put into this HTML. You're like, oh, how can we create it if there's nothing? No, there will be something in the HTML, and this only oh, it gets activated when this is up and running. So they're dependent on, on, on one another. So, okay, let's go ahead and, and, and create our, our contractor. One second. Yeah, so this this one's a bit of a uh, this this one's yeah this one's something. This was uh, I mean it was it was not not it's not that it's difficult it's just that it, you can you can see why it gets like tedious. Um, yeah, I like JavaScript, but it it definitely could get messy with with really big projects. Uh, you gotta know where you're at at all times. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's let's go take a look at this function. So we're gonna say uh, function that create your contractor, right? So what are we gonna what's happening here? So oh right, right, right. We cannot do this function, create function unless let's let's just highlight this. Unless we do a a, a construct a constructor function. Not just a function, a constructor function. Function and contractor. And so what 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 does what does this contractor need? I believe it needs a, a name, uh, a last name, uh, first name, last name, phone number, and email. That's what it needs. Okay. So what is it? First name, last name. Phone num num and email and essentially I'm gonna say uh, this dot first name uh, this dot last name this dot phone num and this dot email 
equals first name. I did something wrong. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, um, we're going to have to create an object, that's why. Uh, last name. Last. Okay. So last. Pop up. There we go. Uh, Um, you know, it, it takes a little too long to reload by the time I'm already, I mean, the auto prefix, um, email. All right. <clears throat> All right, cool. So we're going to need a new contractor and create a new object. Okay, so we're here. So this is why we say over here, um, Okay, right, right, right. When we accept to create our contractor, right, uh, we're going to click on the button submit. Where is it at? Input button right here. It's got a class of button, button dot input. So once we click on that, uh, well, create equals the element of that button. We search for that L for that button specifically. We gotta every time you see document dot query selector dot search like an element by ID by class and all that, you're you're searching for something in that HTML. So we search for something into and we search for a button in the HTML, which essentially is gonna be this button, uh, that button right there. Uh, yeah. I'm going to show you really quick. There we go. Boom. And we, we get that button. So I'm, I'm looking for that button. And once I click on it, I'm saying, hey, once you click on that button, uh, the event is going to be that create the contractor and e prevent default essentially does not let it re it does not de let the page reload uh which is natural for for browsers to do after you you post you get uh well you, no, usually when you post or delete or edit or patch whatever um yeah it, it here we're saying prevent default and thank you JavaScript for that for a single page application ability. And then when you click cancel, you know you just you're saying yeah I don't I change my mind. So okay, <clears throat> so now that we got the now that we got that going on, we're saying hey yeah a new contractor yeah what about it we need we need we need the the constructor function to be applied we need a new constructor right here. So boom, the new contractor equals all the elements that are gonna be inside this, inside the the form that that we just typed in, for example, right? Because we're saying, hey, uh, your first name is that, so it's gonna when you put your first name into the constructor function, it's gonna be your name right there, and that's that that's your name, right? Okay, so yeah, so we're adding all those values into into there, just like how we wanted it up here to create the object and then we're going to send that object um, and then then we got the object and then we say hey look for the main the content that main uh there and you're like what why we're going to create a, a a new contract and you're like okay so we're going to go ahead and fetch where the method's going to be post and we're going to grab the body which is going to be the information we're going to json that stringify new contract which is this right here and the header is going to be application JSON, application JSON. Other people use other types of uh, methods um, of the body and headers, but this one ended up working for me. And once you post it, we're going to get a response, and it's going to it's going to get you know into the database. And then we're going to grab that contractor, and we're going to say that main, uh, the main inner HTML. We're going to add the contractor that we just added, and we're going to go ahead and you know give it the same uh, data. Um, data set of the last name and ID displayed by last name and all that. Um, you're going to give it the same buttons, all the information. I'm just reusing some code 
um, so it can make my life easier. And again, once we click on, on that, um, specific person is going to show us the contractor and it's going to send some, the ID and all that, and it's going to close. It's also going to clear the form automatically once we have created the person. So actually, let's see if it works. Uh, last name, WQWQ, phone number, 111111, email of something at something.com. If it doesn't work, then I guess what? Well, It created it. It created guys. It created it. And let's see the person's there. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and add our contractor. Uh, yeah. See, if I would have, if I would have written then this entire code, like, like, uh, right in front of you, figuring, figuring, figuring out what stuff belongs and what doesn't like, come on like this would have taken forever so like i'm i'm i want you to see like the my pro like the overview process of how it is to build uh a single page application but at the same time it's like i'm trying to explain it so you can understand how the process flows because honestly if i would like i've seen a few videos and they help but i guess if you can explain it yourself it means you get it which this is why i'm i'm terrible i'm a terrible explainer <laughs> But yeah, anyways, um, okay, so now when we're going to edit the contractor, we're essentially just figuring out which contractor we're going to edit. And I know we're supposed to get an ID here, like like we're, we're supposed to get it, because that's how we set it up. Um, what do you mean that's how we set it up? Because, for example, where is it? Where's our buttons, right? Edit. We have on-click, edit. On-click, delete. And on-click, new project. So every single time, what is this? This is the, the create contractor. Okay, for example, let me show you. So right here, uh, this button is supposed to represent all its projects. Add new project, edit profile, or delete uh, the the contractor. Uh, so add the delete contractor. Yeah. So here in the edit one, it's going to be the SVG of edit, which is this little one. And when you click on it, essentially, you edit contractor, boom, boom. It's, this is supposed to happen, but I, I think I didn't explain it enough for you. Um, yeah, when we click on, on click, it's, we're also putting it on the, on the button itself. The button's like listening with this on click. We say edit and we give it an ID. And remember that we went through through the ID that we just posted or any in general. If, if you're looking at all contractors, all of them have an ID. All of them have a last name. All of them have a contractor ID also. So these elements are very necessary for information uh, to to be processed correctly. So I'm giving an ID because I want to know which contractor I'm going to edit. You know, it doesn't make sense not to know who, who you're, who you should be editing. So yeah, so the same thing over here, uh, show contractor would be when you click on, on the, on the, on the, on the anchor, anchor, I say anchor, but yeah. So when you when you finally decide, hey, you want to edit, you click on that little button right here. Uh, this uh, you can cancel it too. Uh, you you got this, and you got your information there too because we did a fetch. We did a fetch of, of the which contractor it is, and we grabbed the. I remember we grabbed the form. We grabbed an element of the form, and if, for that element, I said, hey, the form. We grabbed it, the form because it was empty already um because we i mean i could say clear form or or whatever here edit main content it doesn't matter it's up to you how but for 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 sakes you know it's usually good to have everything cleared out for you um but yeah but this is going to be the form i i left the, the the contents there at the bottom for example look 
the like I left the list down here, but the form was empty, so I made the form pop up. And, but I'm going to close the form, but the elements are always there. Because what if you want to cancel it, and and then you want, and then should we reload the all the contractors again? I, like you know, um, I'm trying to find the methods for my server to run quick quickest too. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and add a uh, a query selector for for the button that's actually called the 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 submit button, which I give it a class name of button that add this contractor. For example, it's going to be this button right here and this. We already knew that. Um, and once I once I agree to it, I'm going to give it. Remember that I remember we just talked about the data set and the ID previously too. When I was when I was going to post it, when I was creating it, this but this time it's the same thing for edit and and here the post would be the patch this time with the update. And here is where I'm going to be sending an ID also because it's going to be this ID. And then I'm gonna do the final patch right here. Cause here we grabbed who we're gonna edit. We looked at the information, and we do the change. And down here is where we finally decide, okay, we changed the information. At this time, we're gonna go ahead and um, and process it. And it's like, all right, cool. And so let's go ahead and let's do that. So let me show you what I, what is, what I came up with that for that. And essentially it's this. Uh, we we got to create an object again with the information that we already have that was brought to us because it's already saved because we already had it uh, and whatever we change we uh, we absorb through getting the elements first name last name phone number email if we change any of it and if we didn't change it it's still gonna be absorbed as the same so we do a base URL uh, contractors ID but this time we're gonna do a patch and we're gonna you know send the body again headers type application JSON application JSON and then we're gonna get the we're gonna send uh, we're gonna get the response response to JSON and then we get the contractor. And so that the, the contractor essentially is I call it tag here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm I'm selecting. Uh, wait, what, what was this again? Hold on a second. Query select. Oh, that's right. Um, here, essentially, I'm saying, hey, for the for the for the ally. Yeah, give it this. I actually should have I should have not even put this. I can just probably say uh let's let's try both. I can I can take out the LI or I can probably say take this out. Let's see whatever happens. So let's go ahead and edit one. So I'm gonna name uh this one right here. We're gonna name it Paul. And let's see what happens. Paul. Okay, that worked. So I can just leave it there. So I grabbed the uh, right here this. In this case, let's just put a number. Let's pretend there's it's number one. And it's gonna be that user. User number two, twelve, browsing. Um, okay, number one. So yeah, so they exist. Um, so I would have. Let's see what happens because I saw parent um, elements. I don't remember parent parent element, which is the whole entire ally. That's it's okay, I guess. Okay, yeah, we do need parent element. Yep. Yeah. Parent element is saying grab the whole damn LI and we're gonna change that and we're gonna change its en entire uh, information. It's totally fine. So yeah, so inside that tag, we're gonna put that in their HTML and we're gonna add all this, which essentially is, you know, same thing. Uh, I'm just reusing it because uh, I have to, you know, because I'm, I'm forcing something to be displayed onto the page and it has to have the right information. And again, we do all, we, we put the, the anchors, the buttons, buttons, and each, every single button has its contractor projects, the list, this is the new project, this is the edit the contractor and delete the contractor. And then we also have the, the pro, we, 
profiles, which is essentially each and every single uh, anchor, and we're gonna we're gonna listen to each and every single one, and we're gonna show the contract. Um, but the most, I guess, the most interesting one for me, honestly, is this one because I like the way it deletes things. Um, you'll see what I mean. This is what we came up with. I came up with. Uh, no, it is we. Uh, so, okay. Just, just watch why, well, this is, this is why I like it so much because it's, it's happening right in front of you. Okay. ID is not defined. We have not given it an ID yet. Okay. Okay. Cool. Boom. Boom. Bye, Peter Parker. <laughs> and we can just create a new one. Cool. All right. Yeah. So that was essentially, um, that was just the one part. That was just contractor. Now it's the same. The same thing repeats itself for for the project. Um, yeah. So what we did here for delete though, we fetched the the contractor that I that I want. The method is delete. The header is application JSON JSON. And then we look for the query selector that that specifically that ally the parent element, and we just remove it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is a sprite. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now let's go ahead really quick and and do project uh the project um or the project js file okay okay so it's, it's literally the same thing as this it, it just repeats the whole like all, all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this. Okay. So then you would off the bat recognize that we're going to do a construction function over here for, for, um, for, uh, for our projects. And you, my friend, would be correct. So a function project, we need a name, cost, employees, and contractor ID. Because remember, they're, they're, they're related to one another. Um, when we when we put up and I'm I'm thinking of putting up in Heroku uh, if there's anywhere else we'll see I know Heroku li likes uh, Postgres um, database but we're using SQ SQLite right now uh, some people don't like it uh, some people like it I some people swear by it it's up to you uh, MongoDB is a little bit different uh, I'm, I'm still trying to get the hang of it I'm still learning it I'm still new to it very new um but i guess we'll see what happens okay so let's go ahead so we're, so this time we need all projects and uh we need to do an index so yes we're gonna have to clear everything out and we're gonna have to grab an element inside the 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 html and we're gonna have to attach um uh, html to it attach html to the html element yes that's that's exactly it Okay, so same process. We're gonna we're gonna grab the elements like I said. This time we're gonna grab the element of main content, a class element, and put it into a variable, fetch the projects, get the response, and go through the projects, sort them, sort them alphabetically, and then we're gonna grab the main, which is the the content that main um, section uh, diff that we that's the HTML diff, and we're gonna put HTML to it. 
but we're gonna put it we're gonna put all the projects I'm gonna say projects dot map and then the project and we're gonna go through we're gonna put each and every single one and then an li and and same thing contractor the CID instead of the ID is the contractor ID and then we have the ID which is the project ID I just left it a CID which is the project dot contractor ID and we're just gonna give it the project name so yeah so really quick let's go ahead and see if that works so all projects by so see project building by certain person project edited I was testing top project project play soccer so yeah, you when we click on this on this right here we, we should see we should be able to see the um, I don't know what happened there that's weird it should show contractor what happened that's weird okay let's go take a look at the code so where, where was the where was the problem the problem said that it was in the contracts is 60. let's see let's go take a look at 60 really quick boom 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 60 60, 60 right here flash contractors id yeah oh okay i see the problem we just deleted the the contractors right there that that specific um so the projects stayed and but since we deleted a bunch of contractors right here they we can't find their their contractor so those projects now have no contractor that is not good so in that situation we cannot use them and we're gonna have to delete them delete them so that that's a good case scenario of of where we can where if we delete a contractor it should delete all its uh, projects that's interesting i should do that so let's get, let's take a look uh, when I delete the, the contractor, da, 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 da. Mm. it's not gonna. Well, may mm, I? I can possibly, I can possibly, possibly do it in the back end. Okay. Anyway, let's just go ahead and finish first. This, uh, it's right here so we got all, all our projects great and now we want to show a specific project um okay no i like the new project first no, show project yeah we can do that um okay so yeah essentially we're going to do the same thing we're going to have to delete everything uh, so we're going to have to clear clear up the boom Like I said, I'm not I'm not writing this entire code in front of you because it it, it would just make this video way over an hour, way hour, over and a half. And I just kind of want to show you the gist of making a, a single page application. Okay, so or maybe this could be like a refresher of how how to like make single page applications or just a different method or you know it's up to you. But yeah, at this point you would need to be a little more advanced encoding to to see really quick what's going on but if you if you understand what's happening you you're advanced um okay so when we're going to show a project same thing we clear the form clear the main content which which were functions that we create over here and it just clears everything up so and then we said we, again we grabbed an element in the h in the in the h, uh, html and we save it in a variable and this time see the route this is essentially where we need our route uh, show project because it depends on on the CID it depends on the on the contractor so if the contractor is not there it's it's not gonna it's not gonna fetch that that project at all uh, you could say hey I can just do a a um, show project where where I can just say projects and ID yeah I, I could definitely do that I could definitely do that, but at this point, I just wanted to show the power of of having um, some nested routes. Um, and honestly, it 
it can come to your benefit. It can it it could be detrimental. Just be careful and you know and learn how to play with it properly. So in this case, it was working well for me. I would say the contract is has this number one and the project uh, number two. You know, I would go through a restful a restful manner of finding uh, a certain contractor's um, project. So yeah, so when I clicked on on a, on a certain project, uh, which would be for example, oh this person doesn't have projects. So I would say all projects and I would project this one. Show the project. CD. Okay, so C C I D is not defined. So uh, I think in this case it would be detrimental. Let's see what happens when I when I search. Okay. C I D and I D. Because we're supposed to get those two elements. Uh, so let's, let's try one more time and see what happens. I'm finding out just like you are. Okay. So we couldn't get it because we didn't have a contractor's number two. We had the project. The project is there. Let's see what happens when we take out the C, uh, the, the, the contractor's ID. It should still work because we, we showed and we... We put an index. Um, projects one. Okay. No, we definitely need the master route. Okay. That's that's a little weird. That is weird. Why isn't it getting it? But I know for sure that that I deleted a bunch of contractors, so it's affecting it, affecting it negatively. So it could be a good thing because now we know that there's no contractor, and maybe the, the, this could just be a dead project that's just in the system, and we could just automatically delete it. So okay, let's go ahead and build a new project then. Okay. So in this case, I would say, hey, I want to build a new project. So we clear everything, we clear the form, clear, clear the form, <laughs> clear the form, clear the main content, console log, new project, because hey, we're going to do a new project. Uh, I mean, hey, I, I can I can possibly leave whatever was there in the main content. Uh, you can clear you can clear the main content, you can leave it, you can see what projects you have, what projects you, you're missing, what projects you don't want to call it a certain name whatever up to you uh but new project is just going to display the 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 form okay so let's go ahead and see how it looks so i would say peter parker whoa what's up i want a new e all right i have to give it an id because project who's building the new project there's somebody that's always building the new project which is essentially in this case the id uh it's id but i just left it as e you know i yeah back to Control D once you highlight something and you'll get the other ones. Uh, yeah, this this we can leave as E, e current data set dash ID. Okay, so let's see how it looks. Boom. This one also needs a cancel button. Uh, yeah, where 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 do I have those cancel buttons? Uh, oh, I found the cancel button. Uh, hold up a second. And or cancel, and now we got a listener. Boom. Okay, cool. Now we got a cancel button, clears it up. Submission was canceled because the form is not connected. Sounds about right, I think, at least. Let me just close this. 
Okay. So now, now this is a new project, but remember again, we have to, we have to actually um, create it this time. So we're gonna go ahead and um, one second and create the actual project. Okay. So project works a little bit different in the sense that we're not we're not gonna go ahead and add something to a list of of um of uh, projects because usually when you add the project yeah it is by itself um you know what yeah i'm gonna go ahead and activate this clear the main content because when you're creating the the project um it's gonna be like its own little thing you'll see what i mean uh boom so okay so now we just clear everything cancel Mm, that's not good though. That's not good. You know what? Let's go ahead and just put it back up where it was. Where was it? Okay. Go project. No, it was new project. Yeah, it was here. We can leave it. We can leave it. It's fine. Um, so something will be there. So create a project. Let's go ahead and create a project. Let's go ahead and create a project for Peter Parker. Uh, save and we'll see. That, that's, that's where it takes place, right? Uh, it's just one person. So we're going to go ahead and create a project. Boom. Save and we'll see. But the buttons, though. I got to change those buttons. What, what, what's up with those buttons? I don't like those buttons. Um, mm, definitely do not like those buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and reuse some other uh, right here. Uh, perfect. I'm gonna use this ally. Let's see where we at. Uh, yeah, definitely using this ally. See, this is this is gonna be more information there now. So let's go ahead and create another all contractors with here, Peter Parker, right? So, what's what's the job? Mary Jane. Okay, total cost one dollar. <laughs> uh, let's see. Boom, boom, Mary Jane. All right, cool. That's a little bit better. Okay. Awesome. So, all right. So now we're going to go ahead and edit the project and then update the project and delete it. And we are good to go. So let's go ahead. And how would we edit the project? Well, we got to go ahead and fetch. Um, we got to go ahead and fetch our, our information. We got to fetch the, the project. We got to go ahead and put information and see, remember, we we can only fetch the project if it has the the contractor ID and the project has its own ID. So for example, right now I know there's a bunch of projects. I know that if I click on, whoops, my bad, on Safe NYC, now I'm gonna be able to see. Oh, that is weird. I'm gonna have to check that. Um. That is weird. Let's see what happens when we edit. Okay. So. No. Not the building. Let's go ahead, edit, save NYC. Because that one's going to. Save NYC. Easy, easy, easy. Updated projects. Well, it's not updated. It's actually not even updated. Um, so right now I'm working blindly, actually, believe it or not. Because it's really weird at the fact that, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and delete. First, I'm going to I'm gonna delete all the projects. I'm going to forget about editing. I'm going to go ahead and just delete because I have some debt that... Um, 
that uh, projects there, so I definitely don't want them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna skip edit. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna test this code and see what happens. So let's let's delete some projects. All projects are not defined. Where's this reference at? This is an index.js 18. Let's go check it out. Index.js 18. Why not? All projects. It's there. I get some random error code sometimes. That's weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete this. ID is not defined. I gotta give it an ID. But now let's go ahead and delete all of our delete, 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 delete. All of them are just deleted now. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and give this person Peter Parker save NYC zero. Zero dollars. He's doing it for free. He loves everybody. Cool. NYC. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and give uh, Peter Parker a new, a new project. And we're going to go say Save Mary Jane. <laughs> I can't even spell. That's going to cost you one dollar. And it's gonna be staff of oh no, it's gonna be him by himself. So create and boom. All projects. Form cleared. Okay, so we're creating it. We're seeing who who is the who's the person. So show show contractors working. Uh, remove is working. Edit is partly working. Because now we have to be able to actually update it. So in part, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. Okay, so right now we're going to, let's do the final objective, which is going to be to, to do the update. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Um, so I got it all right here. Already good to go. Go. Okay. So. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a new object uh, of updated. You put all the information that's already there in the form that's, that wants to be edited. Um, it's going to be this information. Uh, for example, let me just show you really quick. Document name. Oh. Uh, maybe this. Save Mary Jane project name. Yeah, so. It's gonna the 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 object is absorbing all those those their information, even the contractor ID which is there, believe it or not. Should be there. <laughs> Fourteen. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna fetch the project. Uh we're gonna go to a specific one which is the to this ID. At this point we're not gonna use Oh, here, I was wondering about that. Uh, yeah. Well, it worked. It, it definitely... It worked without the... Knowing who the contractor is, so it should definitely work. So we got everything. We got the body, everything. Content application. Uh, content type, application JSON. 
response and then what, we, what do we do with the response we through each and every single project well because it's one project that we're getting back because we updated it and this is the patched version oh no we're, we're sending yeah once once we patch it the method we get a response and we whatever response that we get we're gonna put that into we're gonna put that into the well, let's go ahead and edit it let's see let me let me show you a run a run through now we're gonna spell this correctly Mary James Jane ID is not defined okay so we got an ID over here oh uh, so that's why I only took one ID I mean I could have added and the other ID over here see the CID and pass it in here but I just said nah I'm just gonna take the ID and work with this route with this index post um, so yeah you can work with routes differently it's up to you um, so let's go ahead and all projects and edit it and spell Mary Jane correctly. Mary Jane. Edit. Mary Jane. Cool. Awesome. I'm missing one button though. <laughs> um. That's strange. Okay, I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna change this. Uh, I'm gonna just change the whole thing. Because I set parents element, the ally itself is already is. Oh, okay, let me just take the whole ally then. If I'm removing the entire ally and I'm putting a new ally. Uh, yeah, let me just copy the whole damn thing. Uh, so, so at this point, it's boom, 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 boom. Buttons, ally. So we're putting in the new ally there. So let's let's see let's see it in action one more time. Uh, ding. Perfect. There you go. No, that's not it. It's not right. There's still an ally up there. So, okay. Alright. So, this is, this is where we play around a little bit. Just put MJ. Now people think it's Michael Jackson. No, it's still there. Still there. Okay, so then let's take out the ally part, or let's just take out the parent. Hmm. Go ahead and take out the parent element. Or let's just go ahead and take out the ally. It doesn't create a new ally. Alright, so edit. it. Perfect. There you go. So that's it. That is it, guys. We literally went through. Oh no, wait. We still gotta check the list. We gotta check the list. We gotta be able to add a project. Yeah, we can add a project. Edit this person. Yeah, we can add it and remove the person. We did that. We edited it from Raul, Raul to Paul. We added uh, a new project to Peter Parker. But now we gotta look, we gotta take a look at the list of all projects. That person specifically. Oh, we got yeah, we got one more method. One more method, guys. I swear. This is the last one. And this this one's this one's actually um, it has to do with the 
with the associations of um of the of the projects and the contractor so the contractor has projects correct uh, there's one more function that I didn't tell you about which is contractor projects and so essentially at this point I'm accessing this contractor specifically his his um Oh, I love, I actually love this last function. I love it. I I'm going to tell you specifically why. So, okay, so we're going to do the basic of, we're going to go ahead, clear the form, clear everything out, right? So this is what we do, clear the form, clear main content, console log, just an over there. We grab an element, obviously, like we always do to put information in there, and we store it in a variable. We fetch our contractor specifically, and we get a response but we get a we get a big response we we get that contractor uh with all its informations right but this contractor has a, an association to to its projects but it has a key of projects with an array of information look i'm going to show you right now localhost 3000 um contractors for example, let's say it was 14, I believe. That's Peter Parker right now. Yeah, so it's Peter Parker. So see, so we're getting the contractor. We're searching this contractor, but it's got a key. And inside that key, we got an array. And inside that array, we got we got more, uh, we got projects. So instead of having to filter through all the projects and, and all that stuff, this is my favorite part. This is where we grab the contractor, right? right and i say the main the, the nhtml of content main is going to be the contractors this entire contractor but we're going to grab the key of, of the association of projects which is all these projects right here and we're only going to go through this person's projects only only through this stuff that's it so i don't have to go filter through every single project to match the ID of this one. So it saves me a lot of time and a lot of power of, for the computer and processing uh, blah, 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 and, blah, and all that stuff. And then I map all the projects and then I say allies, you know, and all of its information. So let's see how it looks in an action right now. So let's see how it would look. ID is not defined. All right. I got to give it an ID. I forgot about that, and we should be good to go with that. And see, boom, save NYC and pro and project whatever MJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mary Jane saved. Okay. All right. So when I when I when I save my 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 projects for some reason it doesn't give me the little person there. So let's go ahead and fix that. So update update bio plus where's the update project update update project yeah there's a button missing right here. Oh, wait, it's there. That's weird. It should be right here. See? Oh, it's two buttons. But then the next one has three buttons. Oh. I know what happened. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead to the top. From the top to the bottom. Da, 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 da. Well, no. Here we only have three buttons. Okay. Yeah. That's it.
That's weird, though. It should be right here. It's not, it's not displaying the button. That's strange. Like right here. When you... Oh. Oh no, the, the, one, the one that we saved is actually correct, but the other ones are not. So what's up with that? I'm gonna I'm try one more time uh, and see what happens. I'm gonna say MJ. We, we're probably already way over an hour right now. I don't know actually, to be honest. And we're gonna say. Okay. Well, then that was weird, to be honest. Uh, I think it was only because we did it through Peter Parker's itself. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the problem. Okay, so when we, when we access the list uh, through the contractor itself, that's where we get the problem. So when we say uh, list, we over here with the contractor. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. Got it. This is the problem over here. This is the problem. So. Got it. So, all the, all the ones. Bam. Okay. All contractors. We only have one contract. Boom. Okay, and then all projects again. All projects. Okay. Perfect, guys. We did it. That is your front end. And uh, we were able to look at the list of, of Peter Parker's projects. We were able to see his profile. We were able to, to add projects. We were able to edit his information. We were able to remove them. And we go to all projects. We're able to look at the the person who did it. We will just look at the project itself. Oh no! There we go. We got one one per one part that doesn't want to work. Let's see what is it. Project. Why am I accessing projects? Let's go. Let's go to the projects fifty-seven. Hold up a second. Why in the world is that not working? Okay, we're about to test it right now. We're about to, if I solve it in front of you, nice. If I don't, then I screwed up. Okay, so we're in um, project uh, 57. So let's go to project 57. Let's see right here. Boom. We got a problem right there. Let's so one more time. Now we couldn't see the, the project. Okay, so we have information, but we cannot fetch that. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the that uh, contractors we have the ID of twenty three twenty three. There is no twenty. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we got the variables confused. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. No, one more time. Bam, saved. I just, I just, alright, so the only problem was that um up here it says show project 
I this is the the ID of the project and this is the ID of the contractor inside the project. So this right here is the second argument. Second argument is right here. I was putting it as the first argument. So therefore I would switch these two places. So CID, CID, CID. ID, ID, project ID. But yeah, that's it. We did it. And next we're gonna actually do some styling and possibly put it up to Heroku or any other server. Stick around.